Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Elite Eight. This is CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Tournament. Today's game is between the Connecticut Huskies and the Duke Blue Devils. Here's a look at the starting lineup. Hey, check out the power forward. These kids are fun to watch. They're talented and possess enough skill to carry their respective team. And just before things get underway, let's look at what each of these teams is going to be paying extra attention to. So here we go. Looking for a good shot. Jump shot. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, thanks for joining us tonight. Gus Johnson here alongside Bill Raftery. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fires up and in. down into the box. In the lane. No. Snatches the rebound. Moore receives the ball. Shoots from the corner. How about the action so far, Coach? It's a good postseason tournament action. I'm certain the people watching are enjoying this one. Neither team backing down at this point. I'll tell you what makes the NCAA so special is the fact that it takes one bad night. One bad night, and your season is over. It's going to be a shame that when the final horn sounds, one of these very competitive teams will be out, and their season will be over. Jump shot. Off the mark. He makes the block. On the left side. Shots up. Shots off. Oh, physicality. He missed it. That's where we stand after one half of play. A road to the final four coming up next. Here is our game summary. We've seen a lot of action and some impressive play here today. A look at these numbers can give you an idea of who has been doing what. We can see here how both teams are doing with the keys they identified at the outset. Second half of play, Coach, NCAA Tournament. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Who's going to fight to ensure that they move on to the next round? The answer, just a moment. Uh, we've heard it before, Gus. Survive in advance. I'm certain that these teams will come out and do whatever it takes to survive. Nobody wants to be making that long loser's walk to the locker room tonight. Both teams are looking to get something going here. In the lane. He drains the bucket. the pass down the lane finger roll so easy they work it around the perimeter fires and he can't get the bounce cleans the glass way out on the right wing Doesn't get much better than this in NCAA tournament basketball. A close first half. Second half has been much the same. And Bill, I mean, punch that it's going to come down to the final few possession. Well, my gut tells me that this one is going to come down to coaching on both sides. I think the coach's strategic maneuvers here are going to be the big difference. 
making sure that the star players are getting the ball in the right place will be huge. Jump shot. He can't get the bucket to fall. We've got a timeout. More CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball right after this. And we're back ready to get things going again after the timeout. Now they work it around the perimeter. He puts up the tray. Misses from the outside. Now it's all about clock management, Bill. Stopping the clock in hopes of getting the lead. Trying to sneak their way back in. Some people dread this part of the game, Gus. And the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. Foul. And that stops the clock again. And, of course, another foul as they try to remain close. Not much else they can do. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Good strategy. And the foul will stop the clock momentarily. I think that's it for him, Coach. I think that's the last foul of the night. I'm sure he didn't want things to end this way. Boy, that hurts them. Here's another solid junior bill. Gus, you look at your juniors as third-year players who have been there. And as a coach, you can rely on them for their experience and ability to guide the less experienced players on the team. Good. And we're back. Ready to get things going again after the timeout. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. We've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, when you take a close look at this victory, it came down to execution. We say it all the time, but these guys did a terrific job of getting stops at the defensive end and scores at the offensive end. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. I'm Gus Johnson saying so long.